Good morning, my name is Lee Mallon and this is module five of the Humanity AI course for environmental educators. And in this course, we're gonna look at generating text. Now, what I mean by generating text is the creation of textual uh, output. Um, and we'll kind of expand on what that means. Uh, but it all kind of stems from using these generative AI language models to feed in either knowledge or information or the desire to extract knowledge information they already have embedded in them about their worldview. And we do this through this concept called prompting. Now, prompting is the idea of basically you could ask a question. So as we did in the previous module, what is the capital of, of, of England, of the UK? And then it gave us London and then we can ask it some facts about London. When you prompt, uh, there is quite a lot of I wouldn't say parameters because it's kind of built into the language. There's a lot of flexibility in how you can ask questions. So you can say, give me 10 facts about London, but you can also say, give me 10 facts about London in a bullet point list. Give me 10 facts about London where it's just the fact and a description or a fact and a joke. Uh, you can add all this variation of language. You can say, only phrase this in UK English. Um, uh, words that are ends in the letter E don't include, for example. Uh, there is a massive kind of art into prompting. The best thing to think about is if you are trying to extract information from another person, you can just keep iterating. You can keep going to depths in that communication pattern. And that kind of leads on to like tonality and style. So you have the ability through prompts to ask for things in a certain way. So for example, I can say, this is a blog post for this topic. And then because it knows blog posts, it will infer an element of tonality, of language, of length. Whereas if I said, this is an executive summary for a shareholder report, again, it's gonna adjust accordingly. If I said that this is to explain a concept to a five-year-old, again, it's gonna adjust the language and style accordingly. Write this in the language of Eminem or of um, Shakespeare, for example. I mentioned it before about this idea of hallucinations. Uh, and for this generative text kind of module, I kind of want us to forget about it in a way, because if you add the human intervention step afterwards, then hallucinations aren't really a problem. They're just uh, an enforcer for you to verify the information, which then makes you read it which is a good thing overall. Hallucinations are because the model is incentivized, is rewarded to give you something back. Um, and that will have accuracies, uh, but actually hallucinations or not, we have to really remember that all information has a bias here of something. Um, so I've noticed this particularly with image generation, there tends to be a bias leading towards certain uh, demographics of people, of um, belief systems, of um, English as a language. Uh, these are all things that you just have to bear in mind that this is built in. Now, that being said, it is still a powerful and amazing tool. Uh, and as the models mature and as they grow and as more countries release models, we'll start to get a wider worldview from you know around the globe. Now, if we're generating text, uh, I showed examples before where we generated the blog and then we turned that into like, bullet point lists and things like that. But that's not all. There are a magnitude of form factors we can generate. And, and this is only some of them here. And we'll, we'll kind of go into this with a demo in a second. Um, but the key here is to remember that if you can create it, then there's a good chance the AI can also create it. And we'll call it the same thing. We'll be aware of what an impact statement, um, impact assessment is, what instructions are. Um, what a poem is, what a book is, what a press release is, etc. And when you're prompting, when you're trying to generate text, again, if it doesn't give you what you want, you don't have to go back to the beginning. You don't go start again. It is an iterative conversation. The same way that is if if you meet someone for the first time and you're trying to learn about them, you don't just say, "Tell me your life story." You ask them one question, they respond. You, they give you, you know, you ask again, and you delve into the depths of that person's kind of background. So, but, you know, a demo is always a better example. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are with our uh, ChatGTP and our air quality, but let's just go back to 3.5 for a second. 
so let's think about the form factors that I kind of demonstrated. So we talked about our blog post. So let's pick a topic. So let's say um, uh, create me a blog post on rising sea levels. Now, it's going to be quite kind of generic, quite verbose in its language. And with 3.5, it generates quite quick. So, okay, so there's our blog post. That's great. Now, um, the next on our form factors list that was on the presentation was Q&A. So from this blog, can you create me a list of Q and of questions for my... FAQ section on this topic. Okay, so now I've got my Q&A, that's great. Next one is interview questions. Okay, so now I can say I, uh, I am interviewing someone for a job in this um, area. Uh, what questions could I ask them about this topic? Give me five short in a bullet point list. Perfect. Uh, next up, we had a social media post. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to jump kind of back on myself and say, turn the blog post you generated into a LinkedIn article. Now, by stipulating LinkedIn, it's then also going to look at, look at how LinkedIn stuff is, um, uh, is articulated, how it's structured. Uh, next up we have is quiz sheet. Okay, so create a quiz on this topic. Uh, 10 questions. So you can see the variety of which we can generate these things. We want a script. Um, great, I have an idea for a video on this. Can you create me a script? So now it's broke down the narration, the clips. Now I can uh, evolve that script, but I could also say, can you create me a script as to why rising sea levels may be a good idea. And then again, it's going to take that into account accordingly. And I can go on, I can say, uh, intro to a newsletter on this topic. the description for the back of a book. A PR release. It goes on and on and on. Um, so you can see there's a massive amount of text generation we can do. And again, like I said, all this is being fed into that context window. It's going to be slightly, um, once we go over that 8,000 tokens, it's probably going to get slightly condensed. But you can see the generation aspect. We'll delve into this a bit more in the interactive uh, module. But I want to show it's not just um, it's not just textual text that we can generate. We have the flexibility to generate other things, um, such as like Excel formulas, data tables. So, um, Next up, the next module we have is around creating images. Hope you enjoy.